South Carolina Army National Guard soldiers, as well as local law enforcement, civilian, and state guard volunteers distribute cases of water to Columbia residents after floodwaters devastated the state. We're providing water uh, because of the the need for water relative to um, the, the local domestic water supply being potentially contaminated. Currently we have four locations set up, two in the county, two in the city. There are uh, projects or processes in place to provide for up to six more by this afternoon and then we'll address the need as it goes forward. The process right now is, is five liters of water per person per day in the household. So we ask them specifically how many people they have in their household and then we give them one day supply. And we'll continue this now until such a time as the domestic water supply is back up in, in, in a non-boil state. In the first hour we've been here, we've distributed 40 crates of water and each crate has 70 cases of water on it. Stay safe on the roads and be smart about if you can make it out or not. Listen to media, listen to social media. They'll direct you as to specifically uh, where those resources are, what the resources that are being provided will be, and specifically where the locations will be. The state, given the, the rapid evolving situation, has been adapting very well. They've been very proactive. The governor has been making a, 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 an emphasis to the folks in the state EOC, be proactive. It is about the National Guard working with the local authorities in, in providing what the citizens need in their time of need. They have, uh, they have stepped up to the plate. They have not backed off or wavered one bit. Reporting for the South Carolina National Guard, I'm Tech Sergeant Casey Watson.